Hey, 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 what's up, guys? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga! This is Episode 6, Chapter 3, Speeder Showdown Free Play! We're gonna get that 8x stud multiplier, finally! We're also gonna get all 10 of those mini kits, and we're gonna round off with that 70k. Actually, we're gonna get that pretty early, as it's easy peasy with our stud multiplier red bricks on, and of course, that attract. Now, don't forget that, also, we have the invincibility on. Now, as we jump right into the free play here, of course, we're going to choose four Lom as he can get his hack on, among other things. And as we begin here, we want to remind you that we do have quick links down below in the video description. However, you're not going to need very many of them, as most of these mini kits get shot at you like a machine gun. And what I mean by that is they come super duper fast. As a wise comedian once said, ain't nothing faster than pew. You know, like in the cartoons when the car pew. <laughs> That's basically what's going to happen here in a hot second. Now, as we drop down into the new area here, we're going to find ourselves being presented with some force fields and a couple of speeder bikes being driven by some stormtroopers. We're going to go ahead and take those guys out and steal them speeder bikes and whip a nice U-turn and get on with the getting on. Now, this is crazy how fast this happens, and I do recommend that you hit the pause button and watch this a time or two before you try to attempt it. But essentially, anytime you see one of those white like jumps you're gonna want to hit it the ramp actually activates something uh, whether it's the mini kit dropping down from above or another ramp that you can get to the next mini kit either way ride those ramps and like I said they come rather fast they're getting shot at you right now we got quick links to keep you all intact but there are six of them here in this area which if you didn't notice we're actually going around in a swinkle so if you happen to shoot those bad guys or you miss a mini kit and you're having a hard time turning around or whatever the case may be, you've got more time. We actually have three sections of taking these bad guys out before we advance and go, well, we take a hard right. But like I said, we got a lot of work to do. Now, these guys on the speeder bikes can be rather problematic. It's kind of, I don't know, my aim needs to get good, I guess is the best way to say it. Because look at this, I cannot for the life of me track either one of these guys. And uh, so, yes, I, I do want to recommend that the A button or X button, depending on which platform you're playing on, is actually very useful in this section because you'll do kind of a loop to loop. Now, you can hit the down uh, arrow on the directional pad or on the analog stick, and it will turn you around, but that's not as efficient as doing the swinkle. Uh, all right, here we go. We've actually taken out the first two guys on the speeder bikes, and we are officially getting attacked now in a little meadow. We're going to remove the Stormtrooper from the ATST by using the Fools, and then hop in this bad guy and go off to the right-hand side, where we're going to use the dark side of the force to go ahead and remove a bunch of shrubs, revealing a little hobbit hole which we can switch on over to an Ewok and get our, well, I guess our elevation on. We'll go ahead and switch to a droid or double jump across to the next section here, flip the lever with a humanoid, and drop the crate holding mini kit number seven. Now, again, there are a ton of mini kits in, in this area. We do lots of swinkles, so if you've missed one of the first six mini kits already, don't worry, there is still time to get them. They will be ahead of us as we continue to make the circle so uh, i recommend that you just hop in the atst and take out the i don't know what that is some sort of a i don't know a generator for the sh a shield generator i guess is what we'll call them simply take that bad boy out with the atst take out all the remaining stormtroopers and then hop on the speeder bike and it should open the force field and allow us to continue with our journey now, let's see here. I'm having a hard time in life. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Really, I just need to take these guys out and hop on the old speeder bike. As you can see, our buddy is waiting for us. And look at that. Our, our, our twin, I should say. <laughs> we are out of here. So this time, there shouldn't be any mini kits left over, as you have probably grabbed all six of them. If you have not, this is a good time to do that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get our pew-pew on and try to take these guys out. And I am the worst. Like I said, my aim needs to get good more than it ever has before this is terrible uh, at times i try to actually catch the speeder bike on a tree to slow me down because i feel like that's better than if i do the old turn around by pressing down like i keep doing it actually creates a lot of space in between me and the guy on the speeder bike so uh i don't recommend that and look at that get good get good get good get good get good get good get good, get good, get good. <laughs> that's how i feel like the aim is right now <laughs> like Oh my goodness. All right, so it takes me uh, forever to figure out what's going on. And right now I'm actually flipping back and forth, trying to let him lap me. 
I assumed that if I actually just uh, kept doing that, he would pop up again. And look at that, he did! But it was, a, it was a funny angle there for a second. It looked like I was totally, like, noobing up. There you can see I'm trying to catch the tree there, and it's not really working all that good. Hey, don't forget, we are on Instagram. If you are into that kind of thing, please check us out there. We have all sorts of information, posts, photos, behind-the-scenes stuff, and more. We'd like to see you over there. Like we always say, we on the gram if you am. <laughs> I don't know if that's funny or not. Okay, so we've officially taken out the next group of speeder bikers, and we have found ourselves in another nice little meadow. On the right-hand side of the meadow, we can find ourselves some buildable bricks. We'll go ahead and attack those here in a second. But first, we got to take out a bunch of bad guys trying to take us down. And look, I tried to try to thwart their plans by getting somebody with some extra hops. And unfortunately, even Jar Jar can't get up on that cliff side. So I pull out somebody like Forlom who can drop some bomb, 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 bomb bombs. And of course, it takes them all out in a big group. I leave one more out there for a nice little welcoming <laughs> if they come back. And uh, they don't. At least I don't see any right now. So we are good. We're up on the ledge. This is basically a repeat of what we've already done. Just a little different process. This time we have to stack three box, two of which need to be uncovered by throwing some thermal detonators. Once we get all three revealed, stack them up and hop on up top. Flip the switch and you guessed it. It's going to drop that box. We'll go ahead and drop down, do the old ground pound, a.k.a. butt slam, and take it out. Thank you very much, Mini Kit. Eight is now ours. Again, we'll have to hop on the old speeder bikes and ride on out of here. I'm not sure what our twin is doing there. Apparently, I stole his bike. He's like, come on, man. You're on my bike. Look at him. He's following me around. I don't even know what he's doing here. Anyways, we got to go ahead and go to the left side. I was wrong. We're not ready to bounce out yet. We've got some forcage to be used. Of course, a few bad guys need to be eradicated first. Of course, we got quick links down below in the video description, as Thumby is quickly reminding us of. As it turns out, we need to build up an ATST in order to take out that shield generator off in the left-hand corner there. Unfortunately, none of the firepower we have, at least that I'm aware of, is able to take those down. So we need to uh, get up on the left side, drop a nice crate full of some bricks, and, of course, we got to take out that nice little flower pot there, too, because it is hiding some of our bits. And look at that. We'll use the voles to go ahead and build up an ATST. Hop inside and pew, 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 pew. Uh, this time, uh, well, look at that. It's still giga good, giga good. I still can't quite get that. Ah, uh, so frustrating. All right, I got it. It's down and out. Now we can go ahead and hop back on our speeder bike and get on with the getting on. Of course, I really enjoy the Invincibility Red Brick. If you have not already purchased that, I highly recommend it. As you can see, I take lots of fire from the bad guys. However, it doesn't stop them from thwarting our plans on building. That's one thing that I wish it would affect a little bit better. Now, look at this. I have four guys I got to take out, and I was able to take one down right away. And I think it's right about now that I think I discover that the best way to do it is to do the loop-de-loop -loop rather than the change direction right I, I keep turning around and going down rather than doing the old woo to the hoo loop to loop like they are see they're doing loop to loops and that's when i've kind of realized like wait a minute if you're doing that spinny thing i can do that and i'm still trying to grind away on the trees trying to slow my process down that didn't work i thought i was gonna have all sorts of great tips and tricks for you but i failed and i still need to work on that uh stamp the fail stamp so i can drop that whenever i do something awesome you know or not awesome fail <laughs> Uh, all right, so I take out the final guys, and we are showing up in the final meadow. We go ahead and use the force one more time on a stormtrooper inside that ATST. We go ahead and take out this large generator, shield generator on the left side. It actually drops, well, not the last one. I thought we were going to get on out of here. We'll go ahead and use it to hop up to the right-hand side. Now, you might have noticed that there is a mini kit link on the bottom there showing that we've got mini kid number nine so we'll go ahead and use the force as we get up top we're gonna need to use somebody with thermal detonators to blow up these silver bricks even though they're not all blingy and shiny they are still silver and will require a thermal detonator to be destroyed of course build up those bricks into a grapple point grapple up top a lot of switching backs and forth these here uh, flip the lever, drop on down, and of course, one more ground pound for that mini kit number nine. 
Now, it as it looks, we still have a shield up, but I think once we hop on the speeder bike, it will disappear. Yes, it does. So, I, you know, I mentioned the final meadow we were in. the. That was not right. We still have one more spot. It's actually a doozy, too, because we have to see those, see those crates right there. We have to mess with those, but we got to take out five speeder bike dudes before we can get there. So I thought about just fast forwarding, you know, and doing a little edit here to kind of speed things up but i left it here because i do finally realize that the old loop to loop is the way to handle these and it actually goes a lot quicker once i figured out so i'm still bashing trees still turning around i think right now is when i actually hit the old x button and it flips me around or psych psych the a button listen to me a playstation gamer over here trying to play on the xbox pa, ba. all right so come on now anytime we got one more. We got three more guys left. We are almost there. There we go. Aha! Now they are totally well. They're not in good. They're, they're not in good shape anymore. Let's just put it that way. All right, another one down. Another one bites the dust. We'll go ahead and take him out. And ooh, nice little wall right there. I think we got final guy here. And it, as soon as we get him done, did it'll drop us in that spot. Oh. Whoopsie. It'll drop us in the spot where the two large crates are. And then, of course, I have the brain fart of the century and forget how to do it. That's right. Brain needs to get good, too. All right. One more shot. And he is down and out here. Well, what is he doing? He's up high. Here. There we go. He's out of here and we're rolling up what is officially the final meadow. So we've got uh, bad guys on the left. We also have a grapple point. Now, this is right where we dropped in in the beginning. And, of course, I totally forgot that until I use the grapple to grapple out of here. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. And, unfortunately, I go low here, but not low enough. Like, right there. I needed to take one more step, and I would have seen the bridge. And things would have gone so much more swimmingly. But I didn't. So here comes that stamp for the fail again. <laughs> fail. All right, uh, it would have been nice if I would have had it for sure. We'll go ahead and use that to get on out of here. We realized we went the wrong way. We should have taken a left turn in Albuquerque and take out a few guys, depleted their meters, and I, I think I go and try to toss a few. No, no thermal detonators. I walk over to the right-hand side, and I'm like, wait a minute. There's got to be something over here. No, there's not. What the deuce? What the deuce? Eventually, I do figure it out. Here, there's the bridge. All right, so it's not that bad. I made it sound like it was, like, worse than it was. A bunch of guys follow me over the bridge. I try to throw some bombs at them, but they are pretty good at dodging them. Hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell as well. I know a lot of you guys have been subbed for a long time, but I just want to remind you that bell is certainly helpful in reminding you guys when we go live and when we upload videos, which lately has been pretty much every single day. Either we live stream or we upload some LEGO Star Wars or both. And we got some more stuff uh, in the works right now. We have a trophy achievement guide being created for another game that I will not mention quite yet. But uh, we hope to start doubling down and doing some videos for that. Now, that's going to be a little easier. It's going to be more of just like, you know, objectional-based trophy achievements, not so much of like a storyline. But we'll see. There might be some story bits as well. Now, if you guys remember, once we get on that side of the bridge, we need to... Uh, Build up the spinning wheel, spin around, drop both crates. Of course, use those bricks to build the bridge. But we gotta hop across to do that first. Once the bridge is complete, we can go ahead and walk this bad boy across. And then, of course, you know what needs to be done. Then we need to take out that shield generator in the far left corner. So, pew 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 pew. I almost had to bust out the kick it good, kick it good, because it was not. It was shooting everywhere but where I needed it to. All right, the shield is officially down on the far right, which gives us access over to that side. Now, there are two things we need to grab before we get on out of here, and one of them is the red brick for the 8x stud multiplier. It's going to be, you can see it already, it's on the high left side. Now, you could smash all these things and collect a bunch of studs. But we're going to skip most of that. Ah, oh, psych, you know us. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. <laughs> you thought I was going to walk by all that studage? Are you out of your minds? I, it would have been nice if we would have been able to add that 8x multiplier. Because no, we'd be at 64 times, right? That is some big cheese. And we will be stacking things up. Now, unfortunately, we are just over the 10 million mark. And we need to spend 10 million on the stud or on the, the brick up above right there. So that's that's kind of a bad news. But the good news is, is we will be getting paid on every single stud we pick up once we purchase that. Not not that we aren't already, but 
All right, so you saw what we did there, right? We just uh, pushed that little hobbit hole over to the wall. It actually activated it. We went through it, and booyah kashow. Now, on the far right side, it's fairly similar, except for we're not ready to go up there. There's actually two levers. We're going to want to flip those. They need to be flipped rather rapidly, so make sure your AI is close. Go ahead and ride up the stairway there. And, of course, we're going to use somebody like Stormtrooper or Vader to hack this panel here and drop it like it's hot. We have to return back down below and, of course, turf a thermal detonator at it. Booyaka show! Pat yourself on the back because we've officially got all the collectibles in this level, including that true Jedi stud requirement. Now, okay, you guys know me too well. More studs on the right and... Got to get them all. Got to get them all. We want to make sure we had enough studage to go ahead and pay for this red brick. And, of course, it'd be nice to have a little bit of studs on the side. Now, here is the second brain fart of the century. I need to be up where we were. We actually have to use that uh, elevator to get up to the high right side. I get, I think the grapple might work, too. Man. No, I think that's actually just for studs. We'll find out right now. Does it let me through? Nope does not so back to the elevator and this time we're going to go right by that hack terminal and keep on with the keeping on through that doorway so going up once we get up here we're actually uh we're going to recommend a couple of things there are studs everywhere and there are a couple of grapple points on the lower side of your screen now we have the invincibility brick on so it's not as important as it may have once been but it is nice to just get rid of those guys to stop them from continuing to try and thwart our plans the goal up here though really is there are four levers that need to be pulled so go ahead and get all four of those and then we're gonna get our boing on that's right we're gonna catapult ourselves right into that at at or that at at as most of you hate when i say so i figure i gotta drop it at least once right all right, so uh, there we go. We got all four of the, I guess there's some sort of like forced fields for like some radar beacons or something. We got them all revealed though. They're all soft and easy. No, no hard shell around them anymore. Uh, so what we're going to do is, like I said, catapult by walking up to that white spot on the front side of the screen there. It'll launch you out there. And once you have control of the AT, AT, just basically spin to win. You just keep on pew, 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 until you get all four of those guys. And then, of course, launch back onto the main pad here. And then we've got one last task, which is to... What is it? we got to flip those switches. That's right. All right. So launch yourself back on, switch to a character who is capable of flipping a switch, and get your switch on, and check it out. Guess what? Score times eight. Red brick. Oh! And we've got that true Jedi stud requirement as well. So we'll go ahead and stack up some chips. Like I said, we were just barely over the 10 million mark. However, this is all going to be gone. We got to spend it all. We got to spend it all. It's all going to go towards that brick, though, which is, a, like I said, it's a good investment. What do we got here? We're stacking up some mini kit pieces. And, oh, snap. I recognize that. I won't say what it is, though, because I'll get it wrong. <laughs> Anyways, uh, stack up them chips. We got almost 11 milski. In fact, I think we will cross over with our payout on our gold brickage. All right. So guess what, guys? That is going to officially wrap it up for LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, Episode 6, Chapter 3, Speeder Showdown Free Play. We got all them collectibles and had fun doing it. At least I felt like we did. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button down below. And, of course, we've got social media links in our video description next to those quick links. So check it, check it out. As for me, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time, see you.